the value of d, given that you have 3 to the power of d multiplied by 3 to the power of d plus 3 to the power of d equals 36. Then let's have it to be solution from here. Let us recall that when we have a to the power of n, again multiplied by a to the power of n, multiplied by a to the power of n. So far they have the same base, then we take one base, then we have the power together to be equals 3n. So from here, we also have this to be 3d, 3 to the power of d, multiplied by 3 to the power of d, multiplied by 3 to the power of d. You can have it as 3 to the power of d plus d plus d, then equals 36. So mind you, this will give us 3 to the power of 3d equals 36. And so therefore, let's introduce log to both sides. When we introduce log, here will be log 3 to the power of 3d equals log 36. Then recall, once again, that when we have log p to the power of m, the power m will come down to base to be m multiplied by log p. So from here, we have here to be 3d multiplied by log 3 equals log 36. Then let's divide through by log 3 to get the possible value of d. So we have to divide by log 3. So this log 3, we cancel out this log 3. And so we are going to have 3d equals log 36 divided by log 3. Then from here, we can have 36 as the product of 12 times 3. So when we substitute it here, we are going to have it to be 3d equals log 12 times 3 in parentheses as this, then divided by log 3. Then once again, let us recall that when we have log open parentheses a times b, this always equals as when we have log a plus log b. This multiplication will change to addition. So from here, we are going to have 3d to be equals log 3 plus log 12. When we apply this one, then divided by log 3. Then again, when we have a plus b, all divided by c, we can simplify this as a divided by c plus b divided by c. We can simplify this to be equals this. So definitely from here, we are going to have 3d to be equals log 3 divided by log 3 plus log 12 divided by log 3. So we have 3d equals when log 3 divided by log 3, here will be 1 plus log 12 divided by log 3. Again, we can also have 12 as the product of 4 times 3. This will be equals 12. So when we also put that one here, so we are going to have 3d, 1 plus log 3 times 4 divided by log 3. And when we apply the product law, this that gives us this. So we are going to have 3d equals 1 plus log 3 plus log 4 all divided by log 3. So from here we have 3d to be equals 1 plus log 3 divided by log 3. 
this log 3 plus log 4 this log 4 divided by log 3 divided by this log 3 so from here we have 3d 1 plus when this log 3 divided by this we have it to be 1 plus log 4 divided by log 3 so from here we have 3d 1 plus 1 will give us 2 plus log 4 divided by log 3. We can also have 4 to be 2 to the power of 2. Let's have it here. So 3d equals 2 plus log 2 to the power of 2 divided by log 3. The record that when we have log p to the power of m equals m multiplied by log p. 3d will be equals 2 plus 2 multiplied by log 2 divided by log 3. Then when we also have log a divided by log b, this equals as one we have of log a in base b. So from here we have 3d equals 2 plus 2 multiplied by log 2 in base 3. So dividing through by 3, this will cancel out this. So we have d to be equals 2 plus 2 multiplied by log 2 in base 3 all divided by 3 to be the value of d then to check we have 3 to the power of d multiplied by 3 to the power of d by 3 to the power of d that equals 36 but from simplification we have this to be 3 to the power of 3d equals 36 so from here we have 3 to the power of 3 d equals 2 plus 2 multiplied by log 2 in base 3 divided by 3 then it's going to give us 36. So this 3, we cancel out this 3. We have 3 to the power of 2 plus 2 multiply log 2 in base 3. And it's going to give us 36. When we have a to the power of n plus n equals as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of n. So from here, we have this to be 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by log 2 in base 3. So it's going to give us 36. Then from here, 3 to the power of 2 simply means 3 times 3. We have here to be 9 multiplied by 3. This 2 here, we have it here as log 2 to the power of 2 in base 3. Then it's going to give us 36. 9 multiplied by 3 to the power of log 2 to the power of 2 give us 4 in base 3. Then it's going to give us 36. So we have this to be 9. Then recall that when we have a to the power of log b in base a, this always equals b, meaning that when we have 3 to the power of 3 in base 5 in base, this base are the same, the output will be 5. Likewise, happen to this. We have 9 times 4, which equals 36. So 36 equals 36. 
Now, since the left hand side equals to the right hand side, then D equals 2 plus 2 multiplied by log 2 in base 3 divided by 3. Satisfy the problem given to us. Bye bye.